Hi, my name is Amy Gerhart, and I'm the lead pastor of Arvada United Methodist Church, one of your sister congregations in Arvada, Colorado, and Northwest Denver Metro, and a part of the Mountain Sky Conference. I don't know about you, but um, I'm trying to kind of bolster myself and the people around me and even in the congregation with a little bit of humor in this election season that we find ourselves in as a nation and even as congregations, trying to laugh at the memes, try to celebrate some endorsements, trying to figure out how to make sense of the madness of our faith and our body politic. And I know that you and I both know that many in our congregation don't want us to have conversations about these things in our pews. And yet, our Wesleyan faith challenge us, challenges us and calls us to create a relevant and meaningful space for dialogue about these very real issues that we're facing in our country and how they do intersect with our faith and our tradition and our scriptures. One of the tools that we have found very helpful to get us ready for a dialogue and a conversation and creating safe space for people to think about how to live out their faith and speak and act out their faith while leaning into the issues and the concerns and the questions that are being raised by this election is this book called The Ballot and the Bible by Caitlin Schess. This book is written by a young adult author who did her um, earlier studies um, in conservative evangelicalism and, and in those traditions and is now continuing her, in her doctorate work to ask the question, how in our Christian tradition and what, out of whatever lens and bias and worldview that we have come, how have we created a biblical complicity and conversation with the traditions of American national politics. Whether that's thinking through critically the idea of the United States being a city upon a hill, or thinking about what colonialism has created in our culture, not only as Americans, but also in the American church. She will be coming to Arvada United Methodist Church on October 6th and 7th to participate in some developed ideas that we have engaged her in by a book study of the Bible and the ballot. And you can find all this information on our church's website, how to get the book, a little bit more about Caitlin, and how we will be engaging her on October 6th and 7th. The special invitation I'd like to extend to you today is that on October 7th, which is a Monday, she will have an open forum gathering of clergy around preaching about the politics of our nation in the context of our faith. This event will be October 7th from 10.30 to noon, 10.30 a.m. to noon. It will be in person at Arvada United Methodist Church, but also available as a recording following that session um, that you can receive and purchase by making a registration for that event, that clergy conference, for $25. Again, you can go to the website. This is a, a overall project that, that's being sponsored by the Methodist Helping Methodist Foundation, as well as our Mountain Sky Conference and the local church of Arvada United Methodist Church. We want to extend this resource to our clergy colleagues and to our laity and our congregations for an opportunity to expand the dialogue, to grow in grace and faith together, and to understand that in fact, the polis, the community that's gathered together through our politics is a community that needs the hope and the light of God made known to us in Christ. I hope that you'll join us by connecting with our website, learning about this resource that you can use as a study in your church, considering it as a, as a sermon series that you might unpack with your folks, and especially to have that learning opportunity with your clergy colleagues and pastoral leaders on October 7th, 10.30 to noon, either in person or to register by also receiving a recording of that session. That will be an interview and a learning time with Caitlin Chess, who will be helping us to understand how do we lead people? How do we preach a political theology? How do we have this conversation of faith and our politics. One more thing to know, 
is that on September 27th, we will need to close registration and hope that we have enough folks that have registered for that. So please don't put this on the bottom of your uh, to-do list. Make this something you can just do today by clicking on our Valley United Methodist Church's website, by making that registration so we know that you're planning on participating either in person or online. And so we can be a part of a learning, serving community together. God bless you in this season. I'm with you and we're all in this together.